But first, preparing for the debate night in Philadelphia. We are only a few days away from the highly anticipated presidential debate between former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris. Good evening, I'm Aziza Shuler. Kamala Harris and Donald Trump will take the stage at the National Constitution Center Tuesday night and preps are already underway around the city. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Ryan Hughes has more on the road closures and traffic impacts ahead of the big event. Around the National Constitution Center, workers spent most of Saturday setting up barricades and preparing for Tuesday's presidential debate. Security will be tight, and the city is warning residents to prepare for congestion and detours around the area. I think it's going to be real congested down here. Um, it always is when there's events. Aaron Gamble lives at The View at Old City near the Ben Franklin Bridge. Only a few blocks away, police temporarily blocked lanes Saturday evening as barricades went up around Franklin Square Park and down 5th, 6th and 7th streets before road closures go into effect. I know not to drive during that time, so I may park my car somewhere like off parking, uh, maybe closer to away from the traffic. The city says beginning Tuesday morning, all of the streets in red will be closed. That includes race and art streets in the area of the Constitution Center. Market Street will remain open. I work from home, but my partner commutes to Jersey, so I think she's going to have to figure out a, a different plan for those coming days. So uh, definitely probably will add about 15 minutes, hopefully no more to her commute. The city says the eastbound lanes on the Ben Franklin Bridge into New Jersey will close after the evening rush hour. The westbound lanes will remain open. Aaron Mason just moved here from Boston. He says the increased traffic is a small price to pay to have to debate in his backyard and as both campaigns focus on winning Pennsylvania. We were excited to register here and have a chance to vote. Uh, it's cool to be in a place where your vote makes more more of an impact than in Boston. The city also says to expect residual delays on surrounding roadways and there could be more street closures with possible demonstrations before and during the debate. They say some roads may not reopen until Wednesday. Ryan Hughes, CBS News Philadelphia. Thank you, Ryan, and we want to help you prepare for those traffic issues. We've set up a link so that you can see the street closure map again. Just head to CBSPhiladelphia.com. Harris is already in Pennsylvania prepping for the debate. She took a quick break today to visit a Pittsburgh spice shop. The vice president said she was honored to have the support of former vice president, Republic and Republican Dick Cheney. Meanwhile, her husband, second gentleman Doug Imhoff, visited Allentown today. He told supporters that in order for everyone to achieve the American dream, people need to vote for Harris. Trump held a rally in the battleground state of Wisconsin today. He pledged to eliminate the Department of Education and return oversight of education to the states. Trump also pledged to drive down energy costs by cutting regulations to boost production. Stay with CBS News Philadelphia for continuing coverage of the race for the White House.